If you're gonna raise domestic silk moths, there's some things you need to know. Because domestic silk moths are incredibly inbred, you are going to have a lot of deformed moths. There are a few other breeders here in the United States, like myself, who mix in other genetics, especially the wild types, if I can get my hands on them, to prevent this from happening. This happens because big companies who are for the silk only are breeding moth brother and sisters over and over again. This little girl recently emerged with some sort of growth in place of her mouth. I've never seen it yet on any of my moths. I have no idea what it is, but in place of her vestigial mouth, there's some sort of tumor or growth. I'm not sure what that is. If you by chance know someone that might know what that is, could you share this video with them? I would love to know. This here is what a healthy moth should look like. While I let all my moths breed and do what they were intended to do, I do selectively breed certain moths and I only keep those eggs to continue the lines.